airports are still empty but absolutely best time to travel right now and uh, we about to introduce you to our friend Brad Siemens and you'll see why we picked him to be uh, co-host of our channel. You're gonna say my name and stuff or? So back here is where all the magic happens. Man, you're gonna be the safest person in town. But how she's gonna cut my hair? Uh, <laughs> man. Feed the algorithm. Oh my god, my back is killing me. Well imagine if people start popping up with respiratory issues. Dude, this is like six nails in the starter shingle. You're wasting it. What? All right guys, for those of you who thinks you are in competitive market, you about to step in in a restoration roofing, and the first question I'm gonna ask them, how do they compete with the Jolly Roofing? And I don't know how to uh, how to pronounce it, Jolly, Jolly. Uh, jolly Roofing right there, you see so many trucks and vans, looks just like the restoration roofing vans around the corner. You think you're in competitive market? Every market is competitive. We haven't even made it to their office. It was this turn that we're taking, and uh, Jolly Roofing right there. Looks like it's a little business court. And Restoration Roofing right here. What's up? What up, Brent? I know this guy is not camera shy. This is fancy. Been driving minivans for 10 years, so even Good when I. Yeah, brother. Forget social distancing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been. Uh, I won't talk about it. So first thing first, what's yep. the story with your neighbor Jolly Roof? How big are they? Are huge. They're huge. Huge. So yeah, they're local to this area, but they've got offices I think in Florida. Oh really? Atlanta, but it's all commercial single ply stuff. So so they're not your competition, or are they? You know, <laughs> kind of become that. You know, <laughs> I'm, I've gotten into TPO, so. Um, they are competing with him. Yeah, now. a little bit. He actually used to give me residential leads. Really? Not anymore? You'll see in the back of my shop, I got a bunch of flu filler. Um, so he started picking up when he'd see a roll of TPO and stuff. So I don't get those leads anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is like cribs. This is Amanda. Hello. She um, does a little bit of everything. I call her my lieutenant. Is it an army here? Kind of, yeah. This is Cheryl. Hi. Hey. What do you do, Cheryl? I work more on the multifamily side. Like and, estimating? And, uh, no, doing the bookkeeping and the accounting side for the, for the multifamily side of the business. But I also help Amanda in setting appointments and, and payables and that kind of thing, wherever she needs assistance. This is Krista. This is looks it? like a call center. Yeah, well. Hi, call, Krista. We call it the mom shit. I just hired her um, to start doing some in-house you know, graphic design shoot a little bit of video, video stuff like that so i'm Facebook. hoping yeah hoping we can catch her up to speed and get her on the same page with us and uh this is michael one of my project managers hey, hey sir what's going on you. michael nice to meet you so back here is where all the magic happens well it's everywhere but so i've got my i've got three salesmen right now Run appointments this is where they do their estimates and everything and i just where did they see this i was in some videos you had something different here. This used you? to be my office. Okay. Okay. Pull the wall out, right? Yeah, there was. A, this was my office, and we tore it down to make to fit more people. And this is Phil. Hey, then, sir. You in sales? Uh, no. Let me show. Production manager. Production manager. Nice. Brand new position for us. You know, in the past, these guys would always, you know, the estimate case. the job, sell the job, do the contracts, and then schedule. And I watched one of your videos saying salesmen should sell. He was actually running materials and stuff for us, but he's he's a good leader, you know. The crews respect him and everything, so we basically said, hey, start scheduling jobs. And how many sales guys you have right now? Three right now. Well, three retail, and then we got insurance that we're cranking up. So man, I'm a fan, dude. Stand by. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Does your wife work in a business? Well, well, <laughs> she raises the kids. But I see. She also. But does she, she do anything in the business? Yeah, she helps me out a lot, man. I mean, she's my backbone, so a lot of inspiration comes from her, and more like neck. Whatever she turns, the head turns. Yeah, that's right. What brand is this? Leaf Solution. I haven't you sell finished. a lot of those. Not really. We just started, just started getting into it. So uh, this deck, you're standing on deck tech too. Let me see. 
so. How does it work? So it's like, out, is it exterior grade linoleum or something? It's PVC. Uh, you get 60 mil and 80 mil. You can feel it's a uh, non-slip. So like, I don't know how it is in Minneapolis, but around here they put tile on like a mud bed on balconies and it leaks after five years. This is a solution to that. So after your tile starts leaking, call me and I'll put this down and you'll be good for 20 plus years. Car guys don't drive Fords. I'm trying to get back into it, <laughs> you know? Need to sell more roofs. This is our warehouse, so we kinda... What's your, what's your dream car? Gosh, man, depends on the day. I'd love to have a McLaren. What's happening here? Okay, so this is like our burn pile. Just right. leftovers. It's a little unorganized right now, but some of this stuff we have to hold because our they're, they're returns, but we can't return them right now because... Let's do Fittest Warfare Challenge, me against you, with those two pinnacles. Okay. <laughs> I can already tell you who win, but... <laughs> All right, let's get it up, and time starts only when the shingle is up. Where are we at? 52. Oh my god, my back is killing me. 35. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now it feels like I'm holding a building. 327. It is hard, but you can do it. Sometimes we keep ladders out here. There's nothing. <laughs> I've got another TPO job starting next week, so we're gonna take this out here. So I've got um, that new roof, the shingle roof. Okay. Um, I've got the deck tech job. She's coming, she's coming my way. I'm so nervous. Do I have to wear a mask? Yes. Okay. That's all I was coming up to tell you. Thank you. Remember Chernobyl? Yeah, this is that. <laughs> Man, you're gonna be the safest person in town. <laughs> But how she's gonna cut my hair? Just um, <laughs> tell her to work around, man. <laughs> tell her to work around the mask. <laughs> Say how important is my safety to you, Pam? How was it, Dimitri? Pam was awesome. I feel like I belong to secret society. Do you, you know about the Nextdoor app? Yeah. So people are like, oh, we got your number on Nextdoor. I don't even advertise on Nextdoor. Yeah, nobody does. Um, but people talk about you. Yeah. But uh, you still should manage your profile, though. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I've got a lot of low-hanging fruit I need to do. Yeah. My Google My Business um, profile is crazy. I've got more pictures than anybody else, more reviews than anybody else, and that helps out tremendously. Yep. Um, Better Business Bureau, of course. <coughs> got to pay to play, right? Sorry, feed the algorithm. Right, feed the algorithm. I think the price is too low. You should be yeah. three. I mean, what will happen to your margins if you charge 325, 335 even? 20 30 dollars more per oh, square be amazing yeah yeah but why do you think you can do it i think we can i think you're right it's a it's sales it's training mm -hmm. and that's something we're working towards i mean i'm you don't work towards it you just sign up and go just like working <laughs> you know going to the gym it's like you, you, i'm not working to sign up for the gym you either sign up and you're working out or you're not i'm one of the not the only one of the only guys trying to put metal valleys on all the homes. I love metal valleys. Yeah, I see that it's not popular here. Not Why do you like them so much? Everybody wants a grand manor shingle, right? Like they want a designer shingle. Architectural is becoming the main, you know. I'm not gonna say it's like the new three tab, but it's so commonplace. Every house is gonna eventually have architectural shingles. So people want something different. In this market where nobody has metal valleys. You can spend an extra 1200 bucks and get metal valleys added on your house. All so sudden, you charge more for that? Yeah, it's an upcharge. You should increase your price, build a perfect roof. You know, let's say it's 350 or 375, but you stand the room and be like, valleys, everything. Then they all have to downgrade, like, which is removing something from the roofing system that you offer them if they want to, like, the 300. Let's say you yeah. build a job, bid it at 10,000. And if they say it's nine thousand dollar budget, now maybe you remove the metals and whatever. But I don't know. I don't think you should be up charging for stuff like that. Hey, go, Dimitri. You want me to say my name and stuff? Or? Hey, everybody. This is Brent with Roofing Insights. So we are here at a deck tech job. Um, we're about to go inside so I can show y'all what's going on. But deck tech is a really unique product uh, out of Canada. And we're down here in Memphis, Tennessee. It's starting to get popular down here, but this is the largest deck tech job 
I think ever done in the Mid-South so far. So um, DegTech is basically a PVC membrane, like a PVC roof for the commercial roofing guys out there. Um, but what's really neat about it, it's non-slip, it's decorative, so you gotta be really careful installing it. It's fully adhered, so you're not gonna get any bubbles. Um, and it can withstand a lot of abuse. Think of high heels, red wine, charcoal even falling. It's a great product. Listen, I don't care what kind of contractor you are. I always judge by your floors, about you, about your organization. I don't care what kind of builder this is, but if you walk around, it's the messiest job sites I've ever seen in my life. You know, I judge people by how you're good with the broom. Your work ethics, it's your floors, it's your cleanup. You can't work like this. Whether you work mechanic shop, body shop, it doesn't matter. Your floors always have to be clean. Look at this mess. It's freaking unbelievable. This is it. This is deck tech. It looks pretty simple, right? Um, looks like painted. It's PVC product? It's PVC. If you feel it though, it's got texture to it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't get slippery. I don't know. I know you've probably been on a yeah. flat roof that's Shush wet. It's horrible. Well, it's different applications. It should be. Right, right. I mean, this is made, this is designed to be the best waterproofing product for balconies and decks. But it's got to be people friendly. So you combine a commercial roof application with a residential, or, you know. What's underneath it? Plywood. So you're supposed plywood? to use three quarter inch, ton and roof, actual plywood. And then where the, where the seams are, where they join, we use a lightweight concrete, which I think we can go down there and look at it. And you sand it to make it real smooth. And then you come in, you've got a drip edge, a PVC clad drip edge. Why, why are you wearing a jacket? I'm cold. Look, they put uh, like some bridging right here on top of this yeah. beam. So it's like, yeah, it's hanging. Yeah, what for this one? Look at, way, look at the gap between the truss. Yeah. Look at the nails. Oh. I want to get to the point where we're doing one roof a day. Why do you feel like you want to do everything? I don't want to do everything. And and you just said we try to do everything. Yeah, right now. I mean, when we're growing, you know, I want to do your siding. I want to do your windows. I want to do your little $500 repair and all that. I mean, I enjoy, I mean, I'll do whatever it takes to make a living. I um, my whole, my philosophy in the past is like, if I can turn a profit on it, I'll do it. I would love to get to the point where we do three things, roofing, gutters, skylights. Look at this house. Just accident road. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Accident road. <laughs> Skylights, if you install them the right way, they're not gonna leak. And Memphis is one of those markets, there's those bubble or the dome skylights everywhere. And I'm the only guy in Memphis that has the Velux five-star training. So Velux actually gives me leads. Yeah. How many leads are you getting, you think? It comes in waves, it's the strangest thing. It is so weird. Um, skylights are, you know, people cutting in, it's kind of a luxury item. So tax time, you know, people are getting refunds. They've got money to dump five grand into some solar power venting skylights. But I just, I don't know, man. I, I think they're just a great product. They increase the resale value of your home if they're done correctly. Yeah, it's just a, a weird market here. I mean, even back to the skylights, there's so many people that say get rid of them. And they don't even think about, like the roofer doesn't care that you're gonna lose basically all the light in your bathroom or your master bedroom or whatever. They don't care. They see that you're concerned about it leaking and their answer is get rid of it. Why not just do it the right way? Yeah, the way. Oh, that. Come on, Michael. Look at that. Majestic Shake, that's our number one What's our number one selling color? Usually number one selling color is the one that you like the most. The sales yeah. rep. Oh wow. Yeah. You can right. definitely see the hail damage here. Yeah, we inspected that one. Um, it's only got like two hits. Really? So, so it just dumped on this house. How did you get this job? 
She just Google. called in, right? Yeah. Inbound. Yeah. She, she called in and thought she had a hail damage. Yeah. Just swim in this weather? If it had a heater. Way too many nails in your starter shingle. Why is that? It's supposed to be yeah. like two nails just put in a place. Dude, this is like six nails in a starter shingle. You're wasting it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, company tour as much as we did at Roofing Insights. We wanted to say huge thank you to Dollar Shave Club that helps Brent Simmons look 25 at his age of 43. He's, <laughs> uh, he looks amazing. If this video will get at least 100 comments in the next video, Brent Simmons will share all his beauty secrets with you. Comment below what you think about this company tour. Engage with us, comment, give me one of those. If you like this content, we'll make more of them for you. See you guys in the next video.